Six months ago at Wembley, the Hungarians kicked our football where it hurt. They were the first continental team to beat us in England in 90 years. Special medals were struck for them when they got home, so great was their triumph. In one match, they had taken the lead in world football. Back in London, managers gathered from all over the country. With Sir Stanley Rouse, the FA chairman, they were to thrash out the whole problem. But sad to relate, little seems to have been done since. The managers, say some critics, put cash before country. But business is business, and they can hardly be blamed for not cutting the league programme to allow their stars to train for the English team. Few players, with the exception of masters like Matthews, combine individual skill with the ability to work with a team of comparative strangers. So that kind of training is vital. Tommy Harmer, the young Spurs inside forward, takes his cue from the Hungarians. Practice and yet more practice, he believes, is the only way of mastering the ball. Such skill in itself is not enough, says ex-England captain Joe Mercer. He believes in catching them young so that ball control becomes instinctive. When that's done, it's tactical training from then on. Joe Mercer sums up his theories. Well, of course, you fellas, if you're going to be footballers, you've definitely got to practice hard and acquire skill. The ability to trap a ball no matter what direction it comes from, to be able to kick a ball immediately to any given part of the field, and to do all the things that Stan Matthews and Tommy Finney and Tommy Lawton and great players like that seem to do naturally. Over to the People's Stadium Budapest where the Hungarians put the skill plus teamwork formula into practice, a formula that brings goals. Watch Puskas in action. He beats the Englishman by sheer skill. Now for teamwork. The combination pays off every time. Koskish takes over, and a first-time slam shakes the net. We don't see Englishmen shoot like that very often. But after half-time at Budapest, Ivar Brodis tried it, and a handsome reward was his, England's only goal. After England's poor display against Yugoslavia, their forward line was changed. Now the skill was there, but still they lacked coordination. As for accuracy, watch this. A perfect chance missed by yards. Hidikuti shows how it should be done. Speed, accuracy, skill and teamwork. The Hungarians had them all. Seven times they hammered nails into England's coffin. The body can only be resurrected by courage and determination by all in English football.